from the beginning. It's, it's unbelievable because just full of signs that uh, things will happen for me and um, I believe more than others, I'm sure. The first magical feeling I had was from the first shot I hit here on practice. I was an ordinary player, but uh, I had a good relation with the guys, especially the Latin American. I practiced with uh, Rios, Correcha, the top players, they were winning everywhere. And somehow I was just matching them around and playing all over and they said, come on. Alex playing me in the central court and I said, oh, garoto, like this you're gonna win the tournament, vai ganhar o torneio. <laughs> I start with a crucial match against Slava Dozedal that beat me twice in no more than four months before the tournament. And uh, I beat him six love. He won five or six points in one set. I said, come on. <laughs> I start to cruising, playing well, beat Bjorkman in a fourth set, very thrilly. But anyway, I, I was able to beat him. I had to face Thomas in a big court, great atmosphere. I faced myself three love in the fifth set against the, the god of the god at the time, you know, the king of clay and the, oh, the most strong player out there. But my brother, that's uh, coincidence, is here with me this year as well. He, uh, I remember clearly, sit down in the changeover and say, Guga, what's happened? You never give up. In the beginning I thought it was Larry, but then I looked at him and he was very quiet. Never uh, talked to me that strong. It was the first time. <laughs> I said, okay, you're my own brother. <laughs> and it worked. And that's the unexplainable Roland Garros 97. I finally and end up beating Muster and that day I discovered the, for the first time Ale Guga, Ale Guga, everybody enthusiastic with a very young player, blue and yellow, smiling and uh, cruising the court and, and challenging the, the best of the best. I had right people on my side, I had Larry, who knew what we need to do. He was able to get me precisely on the scale of get excited and inspired by Roland Garros, but not uh, uh, overtaken <laughs> by the meaning of the tournament. We stick on the routine and then we, we play like that, you know. And the crucial time was playing Kafelnikov at the central court. This was too big to face as I went to the court and I played for two hours knowing that I will lose. Even winning the first set, being professional for many years, playing the best tennis of my life, doesn't matter. In the time he was out of this world for my capacity of playing. After beating Kafelnikov, I went out of the court 
remember pretty well with my bag, the rockets, and I knew I would be champion. And I was 17 in the world, and still Bruguera in front of me, and many other guys, and I knew. My grandmother arrived here for the same as with my mother, and she comes around, we, we didn't understand what it, it is Roland Garros on the time. And then she comes and look, oh, this is nice. <laughs> I won the match, and then for the final against Sergi, deep inside, I was ready. We spent many hours at the court. We pushed harder than anyone else. We, we did more than enough to have this uh, award. I won the second set, he had a great chance and to put me on trouble and I start to hit the ball like this, closing my eyes. You feel when, when your opponent said, okay, <laughs> I understand, it's your time. Just do like this, and it's like a release, full feel of happiness. You know, like, we did it, and we deserve it at the same time. Special thanks goes to my family and uh, all the, my support there, the Brazilian people. And especially for my father, my friend, my everything, my coach. I love you. Thank you. I remember on Monday, L'Equipe was well, Nothing about tennis, just say, merci pour votre sourire. <laughs> that was the message. We transcended a, a little bit of, of the sports and become straight to the heart of, of people from the beginning. It's natural after the winning, unexpected 
trophy to fell down very quickly. And uh, this experience from the, the Hapage <laughs> in the years before made me grow. I always want to win here more than everywhere. The tournaments in Roland Garros is special as it can get for me. So it was a mission to accomplish, to become a, a champion again. Am I good enough to handle the situations? Tennis, okay, I had, but uh, what it takes to win, wanted more go deeper in what I did at 2000. This was the toughest year to win after coming around back to back quarters and semis with the same situation, just the difference was Kafeonikov was a, a champion and Ferreiro a newcomer. This was the difference. The, the match was the same. Kafeonikov was killing me for many hours, but it doesn't matter. I start to move the way of thinking on the catastrophes, start to become natural, ordinary for me to handle. Il le fait, et vraiment c'est énorme ce qu'il vient de réaliser. Il était au bord du groupe, il a sauvé sa tête dans la quatrième manche et au métier, il s'en est sorti en 3 h 38 minutes de jeu. I was smashed at the, at the floor, they were ah, putting me down, down, and the first chance I had, I said, OK, it's me, done, let's go. The final uh, with uh, Magnus, a kind of uh, in Brazil we call tira tema, the decided one, you know, the match to, to see what really matters. Here is Roland Garros is different, and beyond it's a final. So on my side, I counted with the tiredness, but also on a positive side, the expertise. I have been there on the Sunday, what uh, the world stopped to watch this game. And I knew I have to start quick, playing well, and put himself in trouble from the beginning. I needed to get him nervous. I won two sets against him uh, without him playing. Once he got himself alive at the match, I said, oh no, <laughs> there he comes. It will be trouble because he's a great competitor. He never will give up, don't give you anything. So once we faced this stage, it was a roller coaster. This from the first match point that I told I, I had win, and until now I, I'm, I'm sure in my mind that the, that ball was out. But anyway, once the uh, umpire said it's good, that's it. I told it would be okay. Still had a, another match point. One shot I had the picture of myself raising the trophy, the next one it's I want to, to, to go to the umpire and say come on what you did. And then the crowd, okay they are with me and the next one, oh they want to see more matches. My head just became wild. Là, il y a un petit mélange des deux maintenant. Il y a des Norman, Norman qui montent des gradins également. Mais c'est incroyable, 
qu'on vit actuellement. I tried to survive and luckily I was always in front. I, I put myself 6-5, couple of match points and, and he was playing just great on the time. Perhaps I played bad one match point or two maximum and he was hitting winners all over. Oh, c'est fou, c'est fou comment il a encore sauvé cette balle de match. Je normal. Si je pars pour le quatrième manche, bye bye. Six three. I said, okay, now I won three match points. I'm gonna finish now in the first one because it's too long for him to turn around. One and a half minute later, 6-0, I said, no, come on. When it's gonna end? I was very tired. 7, 6, square 10. Rose première et onzième balle de match. The second title was the most difficult and important. It just brought me to another level of, of tennis in a, a competitor. In that year, we arrived to the tournament so clean, so sharp. I knew it was going to happen. Uh, a week later, in the middle of the way, I faced this guy running all over in a windy, very windy day, and he couldn't miss a shot. I didn't understand what's, gonna, what's happening down there, how to face the situation, and I had to face everybody, the best, how come? And I gave up, 6-3, 6-4, and 5-3 to him, 40-30, I said, that's it. The match was over. The, again, the divine here, two shots that I was hitting just to go away, I hit the lines. And he played amazingly well the match point. We hit more than 15 shots, he, one to the other. I was able to win the point on, on Deuce, and then first time he got scared. It was enough <laughs> for me to understand, okay.
in the crowd support me. You know, they believe once I give up. was 6-3, 6-4, 5-4 to him and I said <laughs> that's my, my victory, I had no doubt. This match point was amazing because he was still running all over, I had to smash and run and he went fuck out of me and then the net. It feels I was flying of uh, happiness. And this was the biggest emotion I had in Roland Garros ever. Even winning three times. But this fourth round match was the <laughs> love story of my life if I have to choose. When I go to the net, I just turn around and said I have to be thankful and and then make them understand how, how happy I am right now and what they did to me. I start to make the heart and this is the, the love that I had for the moment and for the tournament, for what it, it becomes to me, what, how graceful I was with all the circumstances. I did it again at the final because I won this, this year because of that people, these 10,000 supporters winning for me. This uh, symbolizes my life with tennis, the relation with the public, the way I believe we should uh, commit ourselves and how beautiful it is once you are able to involve and to, uh, to be connected. <laughs> 